Hello, this is John from keyvogprogramming.com and in this tutorial we're going to look at creating a basic Hello World Java servlet. So um, I've got Eclipse and Tomcat set up here and I'm going to go to File, New, um, New Dynamic Web Project here and let's give this a name, let's call it Hello World and um, this all looks fine to me so let's click next and that's fine and that's okay um, and this context root is actually the kind of stem of the URL after the domain name and we'll be looking at that more later on but hello underscore world is fine for me at the moment or you might want to change it to something that looks nicer if you want then I'll click finish and now um, we've got this project here, if I expand this and we've got our Java resources folder and we've got um, web content here and in web content content, I can put JSPs and HTML files and this kind of thing uh, and this is where I create my servlets so I'm going to right click and um, now a Java servlet is um, it's a Java class that serves up HTML to a browser. So the idea is um, you start a servlet and um, somewhere in the world a user goes to their browser and they go to the URL of your website um, and that um, causes what we call the HTTP GET request um, to your Java servlet which is just a Java class basically and that class which will be running continuously in your application server that will then send some HTML to the browser which the browser will display and HTML is just um, a kind of text format for displaying stuff in browsers um, so let's go to let's right click Java resources and go to new servlet here and I'll call this um, let's put it in a package called GUI and I'll call it um, hello world and click next and this all looks fine and I'm going to give this a uh, do get and a do post method and you can also specify init and destroy and init will actually be called when the servlet starts up which it will do when you deploy it basically and destroy will be called um, hopefully when it shuts down but um, I'm just going to stick with the defaults for the moment I'm going to click finish and we'll be looking at the do post method uh, more in future tutorials but in this tutorial I'm just going to stick with do get and um, what I can do now is I can use this do get method to write outputs that will be sent to an internet browser so um, to do that um, because if I go to a URL um, that will basically go to this web application it will invoke this do get method and it will try to get data back from it so what I'm going to do is I'll say print writer um, out equals uh, response dot get writer now the way this works is you've got um, a request parameter here and a response parameter and request is basically this basically deals with stuff that the, the client, which will be a web browser somewhere, um, sends to this servlet. So the request could hold URL parameters or other data from a form that's been submitted or whatever. And we're going to look at all that kind of stuff more in future tutorials. And response is basically stuff that we send back to the browser. And that's why we're doing response.getwriter, because this is going to give us a way of sending stuff back to an internet browser. So I'm going to add the import there with Control Shift and O in Eclipse, which um, is organize imports. And uh, now I'm going to say here, yeah, let's just write some HTML. So I'll say I out print ln, and I'll write a opening HTML tag like this. And um, you don't usually, by the way, write HTML directly from a servlet, but and in future we're going to look at JSPs which are a way of having files with HTML in them that you can basically send um, back to your browser using this technology. Let's have a closing HTML tag and in the middle there I'm going to say out.println uh, hello world and 
let's um, put a bold tag around that and let's put one at the beginning as well um, just so that we can see it really is HTML and now finally um, if I put the semicolon on there as well finally I can run this servlet um, so what will happen is um, if I when I click the run button it's going to start up um, a instance of Tomcat and then um, if I go to a URL that corresponds to this servlet in a browser it will send back this HTML and the browser will display it and Eclipse has a great built-in browser so let's just click the run button and let's just make sure actually if I expand the source folder here I'm going to make sure hello world.java is selected and I'm going to click run green run button and yes, I want to run it on Tomcat 7 and let's say always use this server when running this project and click next. And this is fine, so it's configured, it's ready to run and click finish. And uh, let's say that I want to restart the server every time just so that I don't get any funny caching going on, click OK. And now, with a bit of luck, um, we're going to go to a browser window in Eclipse and we're going to see Hello World. And you can also just view this um, in a normal browser. And this is an HTML file, so if I do right click and do view source on this, this is what we actually wrote. Um, and this is what the, your browser will actually display. It will render this HTML um, which, with these kind of tags, these formatting tags and standard HTML tags um, as text like this, for example. Let's just copy that, Control C, and I'll just go to um, Google Chrome here and paste that in and we'll see that we can also see that here. So that's it for this tutorial. Um, join me again next time when we'll be looking at, we're going to look at um, JSPs which are a way of um, putting HTML in a file um, instead of having to spit it out in your servlet like we've done here. So join me again next time and until next time, happy coding.